This project has been made possible by a grant from the Ministry of Community Safety and Correctional Services. The views expressed in the publication are the views of the recipient and do not necessarily reflect those of the Ministry. Welcome! This tutorial has been put together in order to help you to secure your router and make your internet secure. A lot of people are still using a very weak encryption when configuring their routers by selecting the WEP encryption. WEP stands for Wired Equivalent Privacy. This encryption is enough to deter a nosy neighbor that would like to bore your internet connection, but an unskilled hacker can run free software that will obtain the password of your network in a matter of minutes. So I will show you how to secure your router. Now keep in mind there are a lot of routers manufacturers, so in order to access the setting of your router will change from model to model. But basically what we need to do is we need to enter an IP address that will um, connect to the uh, router and allow you to go into settings. Now uh, those IP addresses can be found in your user manual. If you do not have your manual, I've got a sheet for you here. So what you got to do, you open Internet Explorer and enter the address, the IP address of the router in the address bar and that will bring you to the setup menu of your router. Now pick the, let's say I've got a D-Link, I'm going to enter 192.168.0.1 and that will bring me to the setup of my router. Now you're uh, shown a, a login screen and you have to put your credentials. Uh, again, that can be found in your owner manual. Now what we're trying to accomplish here, we're trying to change the settings of the wireless network to make them more secure. So we are going to select the wireless setup on the left. This will give you all the information about your Wi-Fi uh, or your wireless network. Now we can see it is enabled right now and uh, the name of my wireless network is called D-Link, which is the, the default name. You can change this to something you would like. And uh, more importantly, the wireless security mode is set to disable. So right now, anyone can connect to my wireless network without even having to put a password, which is pretty bad. So we're going to change this by clicking the drop-down menu and going to enable WPA2 wireless security. This will bring another screen just below, and we're going to change the cipher type to AES, which is the best encryption. Below, there's a passphrase you have to enter, so this is going to be the password for your internet. So, um, when you try to connect to your network, and you're uh, clicking it'll ask you for a password, this is going to be the password um, to connect to the network. Hit save and you are done. Your router now is actually secured as WPA2. I wish it'd be that easy, but um, in the last couple of weeks, a new flaw has been discovered. And uh, what it does, it takes advantage of even WPA2. And according to the study, some hackers can crack the uh, password of your network, even if you get WPA2, and in up like between four to ten hours. And what they're doing it through a, a protocol called uh, WPS, which stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. Originally, Wi-Fi Protected Setup was designed to help people with very little knowledge to quickly set up their router. And uh, unfortunately, bad guys you know, took advantage of that, and they decided to attack the routers. The way we're going to disable this is uh, just if you look below on the same page, there's Wi-Fi protected setup and it's it is enabled I'm going to disable this and now it is uh, disabled now um, some models uh, are, are it's not going to be in at in this particular screen for every model um, some you may have to look in the menu but it's going to be called WPS and uh, just make sure you disable this I hope you found this tutorial interesting and following these steps will make your network safer and keep the intruders out of your network. Thank you for watching.